Hello, welcome to Kosher Kitab. It's Jan 19th, 2024, and it is Exodus Day. Um, we are commemorating it today, and I'm going to just start the transcript. Um, but me, uh, by the time, I just want everyone to uh, just give a an introduction. I think we have a new member today, and um, so welcome Neha, we can get started with you and then we can just uh, go around uh, while others start joining in. Sure, so do I just do a general introduction? <laughs> um, so whatever, so, whatever yes. you feel like, you know, it's, we, we are, we sure. have all the time. Sure, sure. My name's Neha Kaspa. Um, I am, I, I live in Baltimore. My parents uh, have been here for a while. Um, I am married. I have two kids, two little kids, a third one on the way. So, um, so we'll be, yes. yep, 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 in due date in May. Um, and I, uh, so I, I grew up, um, both my parents are from Srinagar. They, I grew up in a very, very Kashmiri household here in the United States. We spoke Kashmiri at home. Uh, my grandparents lived with us. And so all to say that in August of last year, I was able to go visit Srinagar after, you know, 30 plus years. So it was very nice to go to Kashmir and see, you know, where where our, our ancestral homes were and everything. So, yep. Yeah. It's really nice. Where in Baltimore do you live? I live in um, a place called Locust Point. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. It's really nice. Niharika is sitting in Kashmir on uh, Exodus Day. Hi, Niharika. Hey, hi, everyone. Nice to see uh, you. So we're just doing a, a round of introductions uh, because we finished a book and uh, before every starting every new book, we do a round because the kind of the people change. Some of the, uh, us are still here, but yeah, let's just get started. You can go uh, next. Niharika. Yeah, hi everyone. So I've been in the uh, US last uh, one and a half years. Previously lived in uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, of course, India. Um, and uh, very happy to be part of this group here. Um, I've not lived in Kashmir, frankly. So my father was in the Air Force. So we've been traveling a lot. I think I've not stayed in a single city for more than three years, even after growing up. So I've really been traveling. So I, Every three, four years, I think I have that itch of moving cities, places, countries. So really looking forward to the stay in US. I think there's a lot to explore here for sure. Absolutely. How's the weather over there today? Oh, it's snowing outside. Oh, it's yeah. Nice. Several. Awesome. Where um, is it? Uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh, Pittsburgh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we can start with Subhash ji, Vinita, Pritika, Rajinder ji. Hi, Vishal ji. We are just doing introductions right now. Okay. Uh, my name is Subhash Kak. I live in Oklahoma, and uh, I've been a part of this group for about a year, and learned a lot. They're very smart people in this group. I can tell you, very very smart people. And uh, and uh, I uh, am looking forward to the next few books. Um, whatever they might be. I think, we are we doing something new today? Uh, today we are not. Okay, we today we're just talking. Not, yeah, Avanti will not be uh, joining today. So we are just going to do a poem recitation, uh, which is around Exodus, and then we will go through um, some temples based on the document that I had sent. Okay, and just to finish it, uh, my new book, which is on Kashmir, is going to be published by May, uh, and it's titled whispers from the past um ideas no no art and art and wisdom of kashmir so what it does is it goes back to the pre-islamic period and looks at various things from ayurveda to uh yoga because patanjali was apparently from kashmir to katha sarit sagar to kashmir shaivism to kashmiri painting um, the remnants of which we can see in uh, in uh, not in Kashmir because they were all destroyed, but in Ladakh and in the hills um, of of uh, Himachal Pradesh and elsewhere. So I've done that a 
broad sweep, which I hope uh, would be of interest to not only Kashmiris, but others, because I just heard from the dean of a university in North India, and he said he was uh, planning a trip to Kashmir along with people from all over the world where they would use my book as a kind of a guide. So nice. So, I, I like it, yeah. Awesome. We are also going to read it once it uh, comes out, for sure, obviously. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to that. And, and before that, I have another book coming out because I've already done the proofs. It's been sent. And the title of that book is uh, um, Eternal Bharat, Truth, Meaning, and Beauty. Truth, Meaning, and Beauty okay. standing for Sat, Chit, and Anand, or Vishnu, Shiva, and the Goddess. So it's a broad sweep. It also covers painting and art and architecture and uh, the texts and the Upanishads. So that should be out very, very soon, hopefully by, by mid-February. Awesome. Uh, so we're really actually fortunate to have uh, authors in this group. And Subhash Ji also is a scientist. And he cuts across a lot of domains from physics to computer science and being a scientist and then spirituality and i don't know i mean all kinds of uh, like to like research india in uh, historic ways and sanskrit scholar i mean a lot of things and we're really fortunate to have him on this book club so welcome again subhash ji looking forward to your book okay i have joined but, can, in the we uh, can we pre-order the book or oh the book uh, my publisher says will be out in may i don't know um, when exactly they will allow pre-orders this is the kashmir book the yes. other book should be out in a month or so okay so but as soon be, as it becomes be... available i will uh, send an uh, information an email to the group on whatsapp and you would know whenever it's okay. available okay okay cool okay Awesome. Um, so, Vinita ji. Hi, my name is Vinita Ganju, and I live in New Jersey, South Jersey. Uh, I have I live here with my husband and my teenage daughter, 15 year old. So, all the gray hair you see. <laughs> but I have been a part of this group since it started. Has it been what uh, two years? Uh, it will be two years in March. March, yeah. So, I think... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Amrita started this right after uh, that movie came out, right. Kashmir Files, and it brought something out in me that I needed to know my history about Kashmir. So here I am, and I'm glad to be a part of a group of such smart intellectual people. And and Vinita Ji is also an avid uh, kosher crossworder. Uh, <laughs> she would be the first one to do it every time. I remember. How is your hamster? Good, yeah. good. Fin, fin Chuvara, he is good. Yeah, yeah. Him. <laughs> Last time I didn't want to bring him because Terry was here and we were having, you know, like a very deep discussion. So I didn't want to bring Finn into the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but he will make an appearance as always at the end uh, okay. when we take pictures. So yeah, Vishal, you can go next. Um, okay, so me, I am Vishal Kachru. I was uh, here for the earlier uh, Kershaw Kitab session, I think. We were reading uh, Lalwak uh, by uh, uh, Lal that revisited was the name of the book um, by uh, Sri Jawahar Lal Pat. Um, so I was there for for I think most of that book. Um, we did about I don't know maybe ten to fifteen sessions for that maybe ten sessions at least. So so that was good. Um, and I, I live in Dublin, California, uh, and uh, um, you know my wife Ritu, she's in the call as well today um so um yeah it's uh, good to see all of you again uh yeah nice to have you uh ritu ji you can go next nice segue to your introduction <laughs> namaskar sarni well there isn't much to be introduced except ki i'm vishalji's wife <laughs> oh no come on <laughs> we all know that's not <laughs> well in this context it feels There's something i don't know <laughs> <laughs> oh, today she's saying I I have come to support uh, uh, support yes. because Vishalji is going to recite the poem. But otherwise, uh, Rituji is uh, also part of our Chakri group, and she is uh, helping me with one one um, uh, uploading to YouTube. 
uh, so that uh, she, she's 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 basically in the background for also Vishal Ji's Alath, uh, a lot of uh, Alath work as well. I know that. So she does a lot of work, uh, which uh, she's she's in the background always. Yeah, I like being that. I think with Vishal, it's, it's like always uh, I like being that support and the backbone. I'm, I mean, I'm I'm my own person, my own right. But in this case, I'm yes. just happy to be a plus one. Perfect. OK, <laughs> Pritika. Uh, hi, I'm Pritika. I live in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I actually used to live in Baltimore before. So that's why I asked you where you live. <laughs> um, yeah, I moved to US about eight years ago. Uh, I grew up in Indor. Uh, I also visited Kashmir for the first time last year uh, with my family, probably like after some 30 years. It was a really nice experience. And yeah, I, this group is amazing. I've been learning a lot about Kashmir. So hope to continue doing that more. Perfect. Uh, Rajendra ji, Alamika. And Rajendra ji, please go ahead. I'll do it. I'll join in after you. I think you're on mute, Rajendra ji. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm Rajinder Rajdan. I live in the Washington, D.C. area. I've been on this group for about slightly more than a year. Um, but I've, I've been really enjoying every moment of it. It's a great, great to listen to all the uh, to all the different books that we've gone through so far. So um, and I'm happy to see all these new faces. I, I I know Neha here before, so it's nice to see her here. I know, I know. It's so good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle, probably you you've known me since I was like six, seven years old. So. Probably, yeah. Yeah. So very nice to see everyone here. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think you'll you'll enjoy this group quite a bit. And yeah, there's a lot to learn, and and uh, we have a great person, you know, uh, leading this whole show. So it's great. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Um, we are missing somebody. Anamika. Oh, yes. Hi. Uh, Namaskar, Sarni. I'm Anamika Kak, and I have uh, last in last week's session, we were all talking about how we can all be, can never be Subhashji's friend, right? Because yes. he's so amazing and so wonderful. I mean, and think about me. I'm, we actually have a common ancestor. And I'm telling myself, there's got to be a mistake. I'm an income group. I mean, how is it possible and possibly related to this great man? But yes, we do have a common ancestor. So, um, But I got into this group thanks to a Facebook post that I saw of um, from, from uh, Rakesh Ji back in 2022 when the Kashmir Files came out. And... Uh, the first book we read in this group was about um, Rahul Pandita's book, and that I had actually read that book and I had had his autograph on it. And I, like me, as you said, I felt compelled to to join the group, and that's how my journey started. And um, um, again, as Rajinder Ji was saying, we are really fortunate to have Amrita Ji lead this session. I, I frequently call her our fearless leader. So, uh, and pardon my appearance, I just recovered from COVID. So, but at least I'm okay. So um, yeah, that's my intro. And I just love being a part of this group. And I try to be here as often as I can. I have a four year old. Oh, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, by the way. Um, where, so I can't complain about the cold. But um, yeah, my four year old keeps me on my toes. And, you know, I try to be here as often as I can. So I've missed a few books, but for the most part, I try to be you know, here as often. And it's nice to see you, especially Rituji, welcome, and Vishalji, the the superstars of our group, of our community, I guess. <laughs> uh, and, and the rest, Nehaji as well. I, I think we are meeting for the first time. Did I miss anyone? I'm sorry if I did. You missed me. Oh. <laughs> um, so Shruti uh, and Meera, we are just doing quick introductions. OK, that's nice. OK, let's do a video, please. I'm uh, try. Landscape, uh, preferably. Otherwise, Sonia can go. I mean, Sonia, what's she? Meera, what's Sonia? Meera, can you unmute? To, please give. Achha, are you busy? Achha, it's busy. OK, so we'll do it later. Okay, uh, so Shruti, you can go ahead. 
Hi, uh, I'm Shruti Jalali. Uh, I live in Houston, Texas. I have been with Kershir Kitab since maybe the second session of Kershir Kitab when we were reading Our Moon Has Blood Clots. Uh, my most favorite reading, I think, in Kershir Kitab was The Last Queen of Kashmir. Um, and I just started reading, I think, the latest uh, book. I ended up reading the wrong chapter for some reason. My Kindle scrolled ahead and I'm still getting used to it. So I've read chapter 11a instead of the first four chapters. Um, <laughs> but I really enjoyed that story. Uh, and <laughs> um, looking forward to, um, I think, reading this new book with all of you. Um, I've made some really good friendships, I think, on Kashir Kitab. And I am so used to seeing you all that, like, Sometimes even if I am exhausted after a whole weeks of work, I take a quick nap and I make sure I join, even if I'm late like today. So um, yeah, really happy to be here and um, welcome to all the people who are joining here, like kind of new. Um, I think you're going to have a fun time. Yeah. Awesome. Meera, are you ready or later? Can I do later? Yeah, you can do later. OK, um, my introduction is I'm Amrita Kaur, and I was born in Kashmir, raised in Bangalore, lived in the East Coast for about 10 years, now in California. And uh, the commonality here is I have always been uh, seeking out some of the other community wherever I went, uh, which was Kashmiri. And so you will see that uh, I I know people from KP Bangalore, KP Hyderabad, KP this, KP that. I have like communities everywhere. So and same here in California. So really glad. And KO is very centralized nationally. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I think I like you know as as you all know that you know it's it's fun to be part of KOA. And um, uh, I was working on you know, working on there. But then once I got done with it, I was like, what do I want to do next? Because, you know, I have to be somehow connected to Kashmir. And I thought I should do something for my retirement. And this is my retirement plan. OK. So um, we are too happy to be uh, actually <laughs> commemorating Jan 19th, but I have had a very hard day today. I have been uh, tearing up uh, time and again, uh, you know, looking at all the posts coming through from our community. And one of the uh, post that came through was in uh, our Zaban group, Kershaw Zaban group that uh, we are, uh, uh, um, Vishalji runs now, and uh, of which Alath is the product, alath.com. And uh, and uh, he has volunteered to, you know, he loves the Kershaw language. So I thought he'd be a good uh, person to recite it, even though there is a, vo you know, an audio of it. Uh, but I think it's better to do it live. So Vishalji, take it away. OK, cool. Um, all right, thank you, Amrita. So, um, yeah, and we will, I think maybe after the session, you can post that uh, audio from uh, uh, you know the actual original audio uh, to the group so everybody can kind of listen to that. Uh, yeah. So, like um, Amrita was saying, like, you know, between yesterday and today, all of you must have seen, um, you know, messages around because, um, you know, Arch Kunwul January, the basically. Kunu uh, January one man uh, sort of the day of uh, uh, migration of Kashmiri pundits out of the valley in 1990. So um, uh, the message uh, I especially Khosh guys. Um, was basically Supriya ji. Also message was Supriya uh, uh, Kaushik. I think she's from Bombay. Um, the Atmas was basically a um, there is a poetry Ved Prakash Kao. Uh, Timo was a uh, poem in 1995 as months. Uh, the that time as much, matlab migration ne pata yun pas the various that much was varya han button sort of angst in their minds about you know about Kashmir. We were missing Kashmir in multiple ways, uh, both emotionally, physically, um, all that stuff. The, Basically, like our poem, it really captures uh, the thoughts that were going on in the minds of um, our parents' generation. For example, both of them are so that my parents is, uh, you know, they were working and everything. Yeah, my grandparents, yeah, uncles, aunts. Um, so all of us, I think, went through that. So uh, let me share my screen and I can just sort of recite the poem. I mean, um, sort of source audio to make also sort of translate into Devanagari Kershaw. That's what I do. Uh, just to sort of capture these things for 
future generations. Um, so I did that, and then Amrita said, maybe you can present it to the to the group. So you know, I hope you guys will like it. So let me just present my screen. Baki children, as I have shown, class the Panavan wall starting 28th January. So then you can plug it over and discuss. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was going to say that at the end, but um, so, can you zoom in, please? Yeah. Is this good? Very good. Yeah. Hmm? Thank you. OK, OK. So like I was saying, this poem was released in Shri Ved Prakash Kao Saban in 1995. Um, so uh, the title of the poem is Chum Tama. Tama ka, like desire or uh, uh, basically something you really aspire for, right? Tama. The, tama is longing. Well, mechu tama buga dile ya mechu tama. You know, it's not maybe English. Mein, maybe longing is not the word, but um, just it ke banana chet tamu hich kur tamu after much. Uh, desire you had a baby girl, then she won on like Tamhuj you know, like I think that it, longing, longing sounds like the right, like Tama? yeah, I mean, desire or yeah, I think it's, it's similar, uh, maybe you know, one to one transition, to it, but I think it seems similar. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I am longing for this, right? That's the title of this. So what I will do is let me just run, uh, read through the whole poem first, and then I will explain the meaning. Otherwise, it comes out as sort of piecemeal. Ro vatan me diluk karar. Achu, you have to think of it as like almost like a comma after the me. Ro vatan me diluk karar. Diluk karar ti ro. Ro vrishtan hund ata pata. Learnis khata cha zelimas. Gargasnuk chum tama. Panzini durian posh palahan. Temi baharuk chum tama. Tem baharuk chum tama. Kya is it thornus dur eminish? Kya me kormut os kata. Asi kosh by sirsi. Dil polyhem akdama. Mian arman rev karhan. Tame Vaktu Chum Tama Sandra Gashes Rof to One Wun Sandre Natshan Chavasan Nagbut Tumblehan Lola Bertha Tame Shamuk Chum Tama Porsche Patra Tati Ashe Sont Vavuk Chum Meshok Panpompur Gat Karan Tati Quickly Bosan Bosan Chum Tama Sheen Galithi Joy Vashan Sheen Galithi Joy Vashan Rani Vashan Pankulian Yeti Yambar Zal Tati Palihe Chum Golaban Hund Tama Yar Ursit Pats Putran Yar Ursit Pats Putran Chur Lainam Dil Putum At Baras Zakum Ditinam Kehti Vannas Gom Mana Dil Jigras Kun Kornam Chatakarnam Tim Shama Tapu Tatran Tanme Zurjanam Kyazi Dutanam Yut Saza Kunchu Sahib Bion Vatachas Zindagi Huntas Yaktia Pei Pias Kari Zerlim Ved Rose Tat Gava Ved is the poet. Uh, so Ved Rose Tat Gava. Okay. So, um, when the Pope Amuk Batlab, uh, Thorasa Vestasan, so Ro Vatan me Diluk Karar. Ro, matlab, ro go lost. So ro vatan me, me, I lost my country and also lost my diluk karar. 
my the calmness of my heart dilu karar the i lost ro rishtan hund atapata you have to see this in the context of 1995 the migration has happened and look on hindi aunts uncles boy benitim to sort of chal changri gamit kaash jemi kaash dilli kaash punjai to is the context as much ro rishtan hund atapata atapata go like whereabouts so i we have lost track of um, our families whereabouts learn is khata cha zalimas learn go basically uh, learn leak ch kashi par banan you see fat line cha asan no matlab you to the learn ma jo leak hit cho to the fat line ma jo leak hit ta chana learn li so learn is khata cha zalimas the baki me kya khata us mean is fat line is kya khata us what was uh, wrong with my fat line uh you know zalim uh, ya i don't know maybe the poet is actually referring to the zalim matlab oppressor so maybe referring to them or referring to himself as well ki yut kya khata usme kormut ki i had to be subjected to this ghar ga snup chum tama i want to go home panjini durian posh phalhan panjini ga uh, pansy is like a type of flower right uh dur she asan uh, dur is um, like a flower bed uh it can also be a vegetable bed it can also be those beds in farms where they have these rectangular patches where you sow stuff so that is also called a dur so panjini durian posh phalhan so in posh che tim gasan may the flowers blossom in the flower beds tem tem baharuk chum tama i am aspiring to that spring tame baharuk chum tama i am aspiring to that spring kyaz thovnas dur aminish why was i kept away from this kya me kormut os khata what was my fault yeah what did i do wrong okay uh khata go i think it's like the urdu khata ase khush bhai sir si there will be happiness everywhere now he is talking about a world that he would like to see you know why am i not seeing that world ask you khush bhai sir says if there will be happiness everywhere dil falhem akdama usme dil chu so falhem my heart would uh, blossom falunga like sort of blossom akdama akga want the dama the dama comes from like the word dam which means instant it can hindi urdu parchana ek dam so go one instant it is that akdama dil falhem akdama my heart wants to like would have blossomed for an instant mian arman rag karhan you mian arman ji mian aspirations ji tim karhan rag rag to basically roof so the other word for roof is row can you banan roha karnas matlab row and roof kind of go uh, as the same word the rev ch matlab it just means happiness you know to to celebrating something is what when you say to chu rok kara uh tem waktu chum tama i am looking forward to that time when all these things will happen chandra gashas rof to one moon chandra gashas ko moonlight chandra gashas rof to one moon sundari natsan chavasan sondrige basically like pretty beautiful ladies uh natsan they would dance uh, chavsan chav go basically it can chik chav shwana kaise but that means um matlab the dictionary meaning of that is uh, the exuberance of youth is what because i had this word in one of the other songs i translated so i i remember ki this chik chav chav means with with the um, excitement of the youth to you know sondri chit the ladies they will dance with the uh, with the exuberance of their youth nagma tamblahan lol bata you know songs chit tim tamblung out to tempt so nagma tamblahan lol bata lol bata ko love songs so you nagma chit tim gachan tempt love songs and in part tem shamuk chum tama i am looking forward to that evening पोश अतरा तत्ते आस है पोश का फ्लावर अतर का द कश्मीरी वर्ड फॉर इतर लाइक इसके उर्दू पर इतर शासन लाइक फॉर सेंट एंड ऑल दैट ताच्चिकर्षित पर अतर वाला 
पोष अत्र तैते आसे सो आई विश देयर वाज इतर फ्रॉम द फ्लावर पेटल्स ओवर देयर सोंत वावुक छुम में शोक सोंत का स्प्रिंग सो सोंत वावुक वाव गो विंड सो द विंड्स ऑफ स्प्रिंग आई एम लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू दैट आई विश में शोक आई यू नो मुझे उसका शोक है कि हिंदी पर शोक होना पनपोंपुर गर करन तैते पनपोंपुर का मौत so panpopur gas karin go to go sort of round and round uh, so this is a reference to jaise kya chhana hindi poet shamma ke irgird parwana ghum raha hai so this is that panpopur gas karan taite so panpopur will do so this is often used in like more romantic or uh, type of uh, context uh, you know so panpopur gas karan taite kukile bozan bozun chum tama कुकिल छु कोशर वर्ड फॉर कोयल सो कुकिल बोजुन छुम तमा सो आई एम लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू लिसनिंग टू द सॉन्ग्स ऑफ द कोयल सॉन्ग्स ऑफ द कुकिल शीन गलिथी जॉय वसहन जॉय गई स्ट्रीम लाइक अ स्मॉल स्ट्रीम वसुन गो टू कम डाउन सो शीन गलिथी वेन द बिकॉज कशीर इज वारे आसान सॉट ऑफ दी स्ट्रीम दैट वुड कम फ्रॉम द माउंटेन टॉप्स वेन द स्नो वुड मेल्ट सो इट सेम वेन द स्नो विल मेल्ट द वॉटर विल कम डाउन द स्ट्रीम्स रोनी वजहन पाकुलन रोनी गो बेसिकली रोनी गो एंकलेट लाइक पायल रोनी गॉड शिवन एंड एंकलेट इज गॉडस मज पायल तथा रोनी गॉड सो uh rani wasan wasan is the is a verb that means making sound like a metallic kind of sound so rani wasan paakulan uh mission pata exactly paakul kya gaye magar it's basically saying that the trees will make a sound as if it was coming from the antlet um yeti yambarzal taiti phale hai uh yambarzal you know is the most popular flower in kashmir daffodil it's a type of daffodil तो ये 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 फल है मतलब टू ब्लॉसम सो यू नो वेयर द द द विल विल ब्लॉसम छुम गोलाबन हुन तमा आई एम लॉन्गिंग फॉर रोज़ेस यार पास फुटरन ही वाज माय फ्रेंड और दे वर माय फ्रेंड्स बट दे ब्रोक माय ट्रस्ट यार असित पाच पाच गे ट्रस्ट यार असित पाच फुटरून फुटरून गो टू ब्रेक छुर लयनम दिल फुटुम छुर गो नाइफ या डॅगर सो छुर लयनम सो ही स्टॅब मी विथ अ डॅगर दिल फुटुम माय हार्ट बर्स्ट एट बारस जखम दितनम यूस एट बारोस ट्रस्ट ओस ता दितम जखम ही वुंडेड माय ट्रस्ट के के वन्नस गोम मना टू से एनीथिंग वाज प्रोहिबिटेड ऑलमोस्ट मना करन गो लाइक प्रोहिबिट करन द मतलब यू सोरी गो मेस्टेम बट आई कुडंट से एनीथिंग के के वन्नस गोम मना आई कुडंट से एनीथिंग दिल जिगरस सो ऑब्वियसली दिस इज इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ पीपल हु वी थॉट वर आवर फ्रेंड्स बट दे ब्रोक आवर ट्रस्ट एंड दे you know they were instrumentally either directly or indirectly in throwing us out of our homes um, so this is a reference to that dil jigras khoon kornam you uh, smion dil os the jigar jigar should uh, liver so matlab dil jigar go you know my heart tak korun khoon so they kind of murdered it chat karnam tem shama chat karun go to to turn off usually associated with like a flame or something it can फ्लेम छ छत करा कैंडल छ छत करा या दान उस कशी रासा सोस छत करा सो छत करनम देम शमा यू मेन कैंडल इज दैट वाज टर्नड ऑफ बाय देम ताप तत्सरन तन में जजनम ताप तत्सरन तन में जजनम बिकॉज़ दे आर इन जम्मू नाउ एंड इट इज वेरी हॉट सो ही इज सेइंग दैट द हीट फ्रॉम द सन बर्नड माय स्किन um tatsar is the heat and taap is the sun um tan is skin zvajnam is to burn kya is dutnam yut saza why was i subject to this punishment 
Kunch Sahib Byon Vatachas. Kunch Sahib, there is only one God. Sahib Chavana Kershir put God as sort of, I mean, in Sufi poetry. Kunch Sahib Byon Vatachas. Byon, byon Gav different. Vatagav ways. Uh, so there's only one uh, Almighty, and there are different ways to get there. Zindagi Hund Tas Yaktiar. So Yaktiar Gav basically. Um, Almost like possession or ownership, like mechu means should respect yaktiar. You know, like I am, I own my kid or I possess my kid, right? So zindagi hun tas yaktiar. So Almighty, they he owns our lives. Um, okay, so he possesses our lives. Pay pious kar yezalim. Pious pionga matlab to 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 bring something on the right track. Okay, um, so. Pay pious car ye zerlim. You see zerlim na for malab zerlim chu entity chu ye car pay pious. My malab when will it come to a pious path? You know when will it come to the right path? Ved rojhe tat gava. Ved is the poet. Ved is the poet. So he's saying Ved rojhe tat gava. I I when that happens, I want to be a witness to that. So yeah, what a beautiful poem. That's the end of it, yeah. So yeah, very beautiful poem actually. Um, so we will um, we will uh, you know either publish it on Alat or we will publish it on uh, Kashmir as it is. So somebody is you know called me from that Kashmir as it is, so we can publish it there. Uh, yeah. So uh, Vishalji is also going to uh, start uh, uh, classes. You want to talk about that? <laughs> yeah. So. So these days, everywhere I'm going, I'm talking about this class. So I'm starting a Kashmiri online class. Um, so uh, right now, the the first class is starting on January 28th. It's an eight-week uh, session. So if you go to um, alath.com uh, slash register, um, and it will take you to the um, uh, to the class page. It has all the details about why we are doing the class and um, all the logistics of the class and so the January cohort is kind of full I'm actually taking two classes North America kids and uh, so this is uh, the first class is only for kids but then in spring and summer uh, I'm going to take adults as well um, and the registration for that is open you can go and register yourself there has been like an overwhelming response across the globe on this one so I don't have enough capacity because right now I'm the only teacher, but I am reaching out to a few people now to uh, sort of that can help teach the content as well. Uh, so, uh, you know, when it's spring or something. Raise your hand if you want to ask a question. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I had uh, briefly muted. So the children's class, is that already filled up? No, you can still register for it. Uh, um, and, you know, preferably around, 10 plus, although, you know, here I'm saying five plus, um, but right now, like, it's not for very young kids, but any, anybody above 10 years of age should be fine. Uh, okay. So you can, you can register uh, right now. You like, we're not scheduling people right now because, you know, there's a long sort of backlog here, uh, but hopefully anyone that registers now should be in either spring or summer, which is around like either April, this May, or 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 summer okay and this is online classes is that correct this is an online live class yeah. that i will be teaching and uh in future maybe uh, a couple of more people will be teaching okay. uh but it's um there are also some like um promotional videos and stuff that actually explain this a little bit better so okay. it'll be done as a google classroom there'll be online homeworks to be submitted much like a regular classroom these days in kids classes Sure. So uh, one thing about uh, Neha that she didn't speak of, and it's very relevant here, is before when I came to the US uh, and I was new, uh, she was the only one apart from, I think, the Chicago chapter who used to teach kids. Now she has kids of her own. She needs some <laughs> other person to teach them because <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's busy. But uh, she used to run uh, language classes for Kashmiri kids in person, Kashmiri uh, in person classes at in uh, Maryland area, I guess, right? Right, right, right. Then we should sure talk to Neha ji and make sure you have one of us. Yeah, because uh, like one of the things I'm looking for now is teachers. 
So yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm more than happy to help. I, I have two kids, and I'm actually pregnant with the third one now. So, okay. um, but I'm happy to help and whatever. I did. I I only say kudos to you because it takes a lot of effort. I did it almost for three years, three four years, and so I remember all the effort that you know and time that goes into it. So anyway, I would love my kids to be enrolled in in the um in your program. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, go ahead and register them. Like I said, this is the link. Um, you know, you can also ask Amrita for the link. Uh, it's alath.com slash yep. register. You can, yep. you can post it on Kosher Kitabs, Vishalji. Okay, yeah, I can. Yeah, let me do that. Um, so then, yeah. And anybody you know, any family or friends who would like to sort of, you know, uh, take the class, you know, go ahead and register. Mm -hmm. um, so, we're, we're, yeah, so we're still deciding the exact schedule, but I think this, at least we're getting all the registrations in. Yeah, so I have posted it on the community link. So you should have got it. In fact, Neha, you did like it also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I went on the website, but I couldn't find where to register for oh. the for the kids. So I was having a little hard time do finding that part. But I'll take a look okay. again. Yeah, it's I mean, fine. right now it's open for all ages. So there's no distinction between adults and kids. So just go ahead and yeah. register. Yeah. Uh, you just have to do every kid separately. Like if you have if yeah. you're multiple people, then just do them separately. If you're registering yourself or an adult, that needs to happen separately as well. Because, you know, that question has also come, like some people are saying, I want to do me and my daughter. Should I fill out one form, two forms? Everybody is separate right now. So all students are separate. So just do it like that. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Vishalji. And uh, awesome. he's a very patient uh, and a passionate uh... teacher. I don't, Master Ji. Master Ji. Yeah, um, the real Master Ji is MK Rana Ji. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really glad, uh, You know, and like, honestly, like uh, the past couple of weeks, I've been getting so many, uh, almost like signs from up above that this is the right thing to do. There were so many like things that I was thinking may not work out, but they automatically sort of work themselves out. So um, at this point, I, am, I get a feeling that, um, you know, s truly get a feeling that somebody is actually pushing me to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and do it and we'll see, like, you know, obviously what happens happens. But, uh, you know, and like Neha was saying, it is a little bit of work. Um, and I am into so many other things, like because I'm also trying to add support for the Kashmiri language in Google Translate. Uh, and, and that is um, also taking a bunch of my time. Um, and so you know and that is very critical as well to add dev nagri because otherwise those guys will they'll just add nasta lake and be done with it um so i don't want them to do that so i am you know i'm trying to like make sure you know i help there as well um but yeah i think passion will take it's like how terry said right she said oh i wanted to do i wanted somebody to write the book but then I realized at some point that it had to be me because nobody else would do it and nobody had that drive that she did. So I think uh, it's the same with Vishalji. Vishalji, you are like, Koi to karlo yaar. Fir, uh, fir it's like, okay, pass to me because I am the only one who has this much passion. So I think it's going to be you and we are here to support you as you should. So yeah, thanks for that. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm sure it'll be a success for sure. And over time, actually, as teachers also, we will be learning, um, you know, we, 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 we as teachers will also learn how best it works for people. So it'll, it'll evolve, I'm pretty sure, and it'll be fine. Okay. okay. Perfect. Thank you, Vishalji. Anything I'm else? I'm going to drop off because I have to pick up my daughter now. So, um, you know, uh, so I'll see you guys. It was nice to meet meet you all. And, you know, I, I know most of you, but I think the new ones. <laughs> Neaji, I can uh, um, I can send you the uh, I, I'll I'll text you the my email ID. Okay, I think Ritu ji already sent it. So oh, yeah. okay. thank you. Congratulations, yeah. Vishal ji. And what are the please keep the crossword puzzles coming? I'm going through a withdrawal. Yes, I, you know I mean, Please go back to it. I think Vinita, I think Vinita, you have to start writing now. Now he will have to start making them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if there is any interest of anybody, I can like quickly teach them in half an hour how to make them. Arti has done it. One of them, Arti had done. Yeah, it. yeah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah but, but she just sort of supplied a few. Meaning she didn't like do the whole thing, but I want somebody to just like take it over and just oh. do the whole thing, you know, end to end. She is going to do it. Uh, yeah. but... And she will only solve it after that. 
<laughs> but I must tell you, uh, and if you want to show it quickly on the website here, because it's on, uh, it's a crossword uh, tab here. It We really enjoyed it. In fact, we use the printouts for like events here, uh, KOA events, and we gave out printouts and timed people and whoever got them first. And if we click on one of them, um, yeah, on the on the on the laptops, it doesn't like show that. Great oh, that's yeah. right. But it but looks phones, okay. Yeah. So it shows up properly on the phone, and then it's basically yeah. like a wordly almost. But yeah, yeah, there's a Kashmiri word as a clue, and then you have to like uh, put its English translation into the crossword. Mm -hmm. Uh, it so becomes like a family is... event. It becomes like a family event. You call your parents, then you call your grandparents, then you call your uncle, and then you are like, "Nana, na, it's a word. I'm not up to you." So we had a conversation going every week, thanks to Vishalji, that my cousins and family is reconnected over a crossword. Oh, but really? I'm really in awe of you for helping Vishal, us you to save our crosswords anymore. Like it's. Every third you start. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to include a few of these into okay, the class as well. Crossword. I really miss them. Can you please start doing it? Meera, Meera, she da pan. So itra you sorry going to get you crossword. I used to feel so accomplished Sunday morning. Ah, I met Sara crossword solved. Hello, Koini. I mean, I'll, I'll let me see if I can. I'll find. I mean, it needs somebody. It's going to get busy soon, so yeah. Yeah, I, but I will. Hey, Ab, Ab Vishalji, that's it. You've done your uh, part. Now people have to come forward and yeah. take it over from you. Yeah. Oh, we can. We can make crosswords. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. I think it'll we'll be, help yeah. you meet them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Meera, man. Meera ji, you are the right person for it. Ab shuru ho jao. Ham aapke piche hai. Yeah, we, we, have, we have nominated you now. Yes, we have. <laughs> now you have the same conversations with your family and cousins asking ki mai kaun sa word dalu crossword mein. <laughs> yeah, and it's fun, you know. I think you will you will you will do a fantastic job. So yeah, I will let me touch base with you later. <laughs> <laughs> Vinita ji has more uh, uh, you know to get out of it because you also involve other people. So I think you should make a crossword and then say, Hey, I found this new word you guys don't know. Uh, but but awesome. And also, we want to show the song lyrics part. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, if you guys go to alath.com, it has all these nice uh, different. Uh, so, uh, uh, we, we, are, we started a chakri group here, and now we don't have to look around for lyrics because we have our own lyrics page. And uh, thanks to Vishalji, he has put translations of each of them uh, para by para. So you know it's it's For example, nice. this is the Azhaya Panabalia. So if you go here, um, this is a very popular sort of wedding song for Kashmiris. So um, at the top, it will say who the poet is, who the who these singers are. That so I put like two videos at the top that for the song, simple like some YouTube videos, um, and then the the lyrics in Devnagri Kashmiri are right underneath. So. The idea is you basically play the song and as the song is playing and the person is singing, you can like easily follow along in these on these lyrics. And it works really well on the phone as well. Um, so yeah. um, and the translations are also very well done. Um, the only yeah, thing yes. is that the prerequisite is you have to know how to read Devnagri. And that's why you join Vishalji's course. It's all a plan, part of the plan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a racket. You know, it's, it's mostly <laughs> Hindi. So the, if you know Kashmiri, you can pretty much you know get by but it would be nice to know uh like because there are some special diacritics that kashmiri devnagri uses that are not used in hindi so it's a good idea to get used to those um but other than that if you know the song or the kashmiri words it's still easy to follow and yeah. uh, the translations i try to um you know the, the the translations are not coming from just some intuition or something so i try to make it more like consult the grierson dictionary and provide like a, for all the difficult words at the end, you will have links to the actual, uh, you know, Greer's and Kashmiri dictionary. So you can look them mm -hmm. up on your own and, you know, get more interested in that and do more research on it. Okay. So, yes, it's a great, great way to learn the language as well, you know. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. This is how I learned how to read and write, by reading the lyrics, because I have to sing. Yeah, and again, like this has also taken a little bit of a backseat. I haven't added a song in like a couple of months now. Um, but it also needs to be uh, carried, like 
once I'm uh, because there, there's also a lot of adults that have signed up for the class so once yeah. they go through the class i'm hoping some of them might actually uh-huh. want to do this absolutely so I'll, I'll open this up for, for perfect those. sounds good okay and ritu ji has posted a one pager for ta- kashmiri diac- uh, diacritics um to learn how to write she started the she started the language lesson just right now um, <laughs> okay. it's a preview <laughs> I love Chalo, it. Cool, guys. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Thanks, Ritu. Thank you, Ritu. It was a beautiful poem. Uh, and coming back to our theme for today, the Exodus Day. And um, yeah, I like a little bit about this uh, t shirt. Uh, and no, it's not on sale anymore uh, because this we designed and it has stuff written behind. I'll take a picture and I'll send it. Uh, was designed by us in Kashmiri Samaj Hyderabad to raise awareness about uh, about the exodus in the year 2008, maybe. And uh, then we started selling it. We had like printed a few, but then they all the, the inventory got over. But then the quality was so good that it has lasted this many years, and um, the print is good and stuff. So I'm I'm really happy to you know, wear it whenever I can. Um, yeah, and, uh, you know, the struggle is uh, is uh, is forever for us, really, to make ourselves heard. And uh, Kashmir Files was really helpful with that. Uh, Rahul's book was really great, Our Moon. And uh, if you remember it, right, we all cried a lot reading that book and haven't gotten the heart to post it on YouTube up yet. So I'm I I don't know maybe I'll just post the audio of it and because I feel like uh, it's a bit sensitive I think it's very personal so yeah so I have joined Niharika in her room uh, we are both in Kashmir and um, it's it's snowing outside I, I do have a comment to make uh, um, hmm. so I mean. I mean I think the poem we heard, I think it was great and it kind of takes you back. Uh, you know, it's like time travel, like, right, you go in a different zone altogether. Even if some of us have not experienced uh, that in person, you kind of start imagining how all that would have been. But I think, um, you know, what came to my mind was in general, in all our poetry around Kashmir and, you know, a lot of our songs. Why is there this bias towards you know ailment and you know kind of op- oppression and why don't we now change the storyline and have a bias to celebrate celebrate really the resilience right I think it's yeah, been, yeah. it's been a long time and I think there has to be this time um, you know okay. where, yeah, where no, we, we kind of believe we arrived you know we've arrived absolutely. and we kind of celebrate and you know there probably yeah, be, yeah. No, and I agree with you. And I want to say that uh, he wrote it in 95. So that's like 19 January 95. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah, but continue. No, I was just saying maybe it's also a good kind of inspiration for many of the communities around the world today that there there was such a community which went through a lot, but they do feel they have arrived today after what 30 plus years. So maybe it's going to be an inspiration if he now change the tone and celebrate our resilience as a community in our in our music in our you know poetry yeah. um, I, I think that would be a great change i agree with you i mean i think it's a chance for us to basically redefine ourselves and you know reawaken to our own past which we had kind of which was dying off slowly slow you know even without the uh, this whole uh, events that occurred in late 1980s and all the 90s even without that we were our, as a culture we were dying off and i think th- this whole thing has kind of given us a chance to revive everything and post us to in a way to look back into ourselves and see who we are and our history and and for that you know people like subhash ji and all that it's just i mean we owe them such a big <laughs> gratitude you know for uh, the amount of work that he has done in putting all this up in uh, yeah, but as as a poet myself, who has written lots of poetry on Kashmir, um, you know, poetry also becomes a template for something much bigger than any individual story. Exile is also 
a background to the individual exile that almost everybody suffers, no matter where they might be from, you know, exile from relationships, exile from this or that. So in poetry, one is playing across so many different levels. And, and in certain sense, what uh, that particular uh, poem of longing uh, indicates is a certain mood. OK, you've been exiled, and now I wish I could go back, which is a universal story. We, uh, you know, literature can become great only when it becomes universal, so that no matter where you are, which culture, which background, there is something um, in that uh, resonance. And as you know, um, the greatest <clears throat> theory of aesthetics came um, from Kashmir. I, I hate saying the greatest and greatest, but it's indeed true. This is uh, the Dhvani theory of Ananda Vardhan and Abhinav Gupta, where they say literature becomes great where it takes you to the resonance behind that specific event. And you go into a certain state, and it may have nothing to do with Kashmir. Then it may be that you're being separated from your beloved, or you are not where you wanted to be. And so these are all wonderful Transcendental. Huh? Transcendental. Oh, absolutely. Which takes you to the para, the transcendent, the transcendent. And uh, and I think maybe that's what happened. Um, what happened to Kashmir, of course, one of the greatest tragedies, uh, you know, on uh, every anniversary when you post those pictures of houses. But but then, you know, there's nothing you can do about past, about history. Um, and you can only try to make the best of it. And one never knows how to make the best of it. Uh, now, look, Kashmiris also left not only in the 14th century, but 15th, 16th. A lot of the Saraswats in South India claim that they are originally from Kashmir. And they are the ones, you know, like in Shingeri, they still worship Kashmir. You know, they worship Sharada, Kashmir Pur Vasini. Pura Vasini yeah. yeah, so yes. that's where Amrita is from. Uh, right from the Konkan. I think, I think. See, look. I think. Uh, uh, I. I mean, I grew up in Bangalore after the exodus, obviously, uh, and uh, I think when I came and I, I mentioned this all the time, with the transformations event that happened in Shingeri Mutt used to happen in Shingeri Mutt in New Jersey. Uh, sorry, Pennsylvania every year, and Rakesh used to uh, host it. That was a Shringeri temple, and I think that entire vibe vibed with me because I I have a South Indian uh, you know uh, background as well, so I think that really came together because there was a Kashmir portion to it uh, of intellectual discussion, discourse, and teaching and workshop, and then the second day would be the yagya with Sharda, you know Sharda. It's it was just very very powerful. I I feel like it should come back. <laughs> at some point and uh, to uh, rajinder ji's point you're saying like you know he said that um you know that we we have gone through a lot and you know we have come we always rise from the phoenix type of a thing and you know we have had 11 families at some point so and we have survived still i think there is something to say about that i do have a poem actually which niharika reminded me of she says why don't we write something more hopeful and forward looking but i didn't write it today i wrote it right after uh, the article 370 was abrogated and i uh, i recited it and richard subhashji was there in the audience and it was uh, we had a symposium in tc that we we did so if you're interested i can recite that but um I agree with the fact that we should move forward, but I think Kashmir Files, while it has uh, done a lot for purging our feelings, I think there is some part where it always is like the longing or that process of healing is very much repetitive. It's like you go through the phase and then you resolve it, but then you come back in a different, for a different round of the same phase, like, you know, of grieving. So yeah, Neha, go ahead. I, oh, I was I was just gonna say something really quickly because I was gonna hop off, but about like hope. Um, when I went to Kashmir in August uh, with my mom and my kids, we went to Mutton, where the temple is. And so in Srinagar, there was like no buttas. Um, my sister, my brother-in-law has one mamu who lives there. But anyway, when we went to Mutton, 
um, we saw lots of Kashmiri pundits there. And we happened to talk to one and there were two young couple, probably my age, the mother was my age, they had two little kids. <clears throat> and they just told us that they relocated from Jammu to Srinagar and they've been living there for the last one year. And so I, and my mom asked them that, don't you feel scared, you know, living in Srinagar, you are young with two kids. She, they said, you know, the government gave us the opportunity, the job to come here and we really wanted to come and live in Srinagar, uh, and so they are. So it was it was kind of like hopeful leaving Mutton and then you know going to other parts of Kashmir that there may be the slow you know slow relocation of some pundits back. And they were like I said at Mutton. So that I always find as a very hopeful, even though we don't live there and we'll just visit. But it, it was a very hopeful um, picture. I, we can't hear you, Amrita. Thanks for sharing that beautiful uh, story. I wanted to just ask before you hop off what temple is it is, because we are going to discuss temples right after. And it's already 7 o'clock, and I did not realize it. Uh, but we, we were going to go through this maybe in another session. Uh, but just was looking at the list of temples. Uh, in Kashmir, uh, and most of them, uh, you know, I didn't know about. So, 98 temples. So, if I say Mutton, there it, is Mutton. It was actually, I think it's the Martand, M A R T A N D. Martand Temple. Okay. Martand, yeah. Temple Mutton? No, well, uh, I, 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 lived, I lived in Anantnag near both those temples for two years when I was a school kid. And Martin is where uh, the temple is functional. Martin is not functional. Martin okay. is growing. Okay. Martin is on the plateau, wooder, right? And okay. that is ruined. So you must have been to the Martin temple. Yeah, Martin, it was the one with the, the with water the and with the, the spring. With the spring. With the springs. Yeah. Yes. See, with that's where that, that's uh, Martin temple is famous like uh, Haridwar where people used to come for last rites and the the pundits there had books and so on and families. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. I mean, so we, so just to give you perspective, when we were in Srinagar and even driving to um, Matan, we went through Anathnag and it was, it's very, um, you know, we didn't see anybody who wasn't Muslim. Like we, it was, it was I, I, at least that's how we felt. But when we got to Mutton, it was like all these Kashmir pundits in this like small little, uh, you know, the, the, where the temple is. So we, my sister and I were saying like, wow, where did all these Bhattas come from? But then we came to find out that they have um, some like vacation, not vacation homes, but some lodging that people from Jammu come and stay there. So then we're like, oh, OK, that makes sense. Did, did you go to the Anantnag temple also, the Nagabal temple, the big one? We did not. No, we just were we were making like the stop. Uh, we were going to Pehilgam. So when I was a school kid in Anantnag and I used to on Sundays because I was a lonely kid, I used to bike to Mutton on my bike and come back. Wow, times. good for you. And <laughs> drive and bike also to Nagbal from where we live. And we would pass this newspaper shop where Arti's Thikhu's father or grandparents, they owned that shop. And I would pick up a newspaper, Hindustan Times or whatever it was. So that's the kind of a ritual I went through. But the Anatnak temple is a much bigger one. Uh, but on the other hand, the, the Mutton temple is more significant to um, Hindus from all over Kashmir and maybe from outside Kashmir because of the connection with, you know, doing last rites and so on. Mm. I see. Pritika, you were saying something? Oh, um, I was actually going to add to what Niharika said earlier uh, because I also shared a uh, post on Instagram about the Exodus Day and a colleague actually ended up asking me, uh, he's Polish, uh, he asked me about Kashmir, so I told him the whole, whole history and I agree with you uh, that uh, 
this kind of becomes like a repetitive process. So I also felt like it was really nice that there was one day sort of allotted to it to sort of have the whole community grieve together and sort of purge it out of the system um, and be more hopeful. And to that, like my mind just started thinking if we could like have another day, which is sort of like Kashmir celebration day, where we post on social media, like all the good things about Kashmir so that people have something positive that they associate with. Because I feel like a lot of, whenever I talk to my friends who are not Kashmiris, it's just always about politics and what happened in the past and like all the bad stuff. And it's sort of, That's you know, why we I have Kashmir Kitab. Yeah, and I love it. But like, this is very, you know, a Kashmiri group. Like, it's not. It's open to all. I don't I mean, I mean, my Mira, like, thing no, is I that that's why we are putting out videos. So you forward them videos now. <laughs> well, of course, you know, in one thing, we shouldn't forget this. One thing, what happened to Kashmiri Pandits and tragic as, as it was is going to be repeated or has been repeated elsewhere in the world as well. Look, all the Hindus and Sikhs in Afghanistan, they were maybe 150,000, and now there are only one or two left. So they had their families as well. They had lived there for generations, and now there are, there are refugees in Germany or India or the US and elsewhere. And this is going to accelerate in the next few decades as uh, people move, and Europe needs more people. America needs more people because um, they're not, uh, you know, they're, they're not enough children being born in these continents. And so people are going to be dislocated and uh, they're going to be, you know, different kinds of tragedies replicated uh, because some people due to religious fervor are also going to be pushed out as the political equations change. Such is history. History has no root, you know, it's ruthless. It happens. You got to deal with it. You got to adapt. It's only truth. Yeah, but but I, I like uh, Pritika. Truth and truth. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think Pritika has a really good point there that we should not be just associated with being displaced people and being thrown out. But you know, there's much more to the Kashmiri thing than just our displacement. You know, and that is our that we are an integral part of the Indian culture, and our culture is actually what makes to a large extent what we define now as Indian culture or Hindu culture, you know, and 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 a lot of people have no idea of that, you know, most people in the rest of India, have zero idea that, you know, that so much of what they consider as their own Hindu culture is, is, is owed to Kashmir, you know, and so we should have a Kashmir yeah. celebration day, as Pritika was saying. I agree with absolutely. her. <laughs> no, yeah. absolutely. And uh, when Terry, we said that, you know, um, somebody said, uh, who was it and said that we think we are great and uh, you know Kashmiri pundits are like very proud of every everything everything and she said you should be and uh, it's true because uh, it's not I mean it's not because of me or you it's because of what what we have uh, inherited right okay so and also that's Jean so I think me and you as well um, okay so Anamika we, we need, do you guys want to uh, share something quickly and then we can probably end um in a few minutes it's already seven ten i just did not realize it's been one hour yeah it was a, it's been a sad day no matter how we slice or dice it 19th it's since two three days ago my heart started feeling heavy mm. as you see the post coming and like i mentioned we started this group for my township where we bring to read about different authors or different genocides and we did read my, our book also so this week we were reading a book called salt houses by hala alian she is a NYU professor, and it's about how the people got displaced from Palestine, and then they had to move to um, uh, Kuwait and then on to America. So the pages, it was very sad book for this week, and I publicly cried. We had the book club on Wednesday. I stood there, and everybody was discussing their part, what they felt about it. I was, I stood up, and I cried in front of a room full of strangers. I swear the tears were coming down my, and then I had to look for a tissue, but it felt that overwhelming pain for our for what we have lost basically and our grandparents never got to go back to the cities where they wanted to die i mean i talk to people they are all going in summer i mean like some gujaratis are like oh we are going to our gaon and we are going people from south right 
where am I going to go? Delhi, Bombay, Bangalore? I mean, Kashmir is there as a tourist I'll visit, but it's not my home anymore. It, it feels awful going to India and not going to your homeland. And we have lived in different houses. We built many houses along the way, but the ancestral home, right? It, all these houses have come and gone and I don't even care about that much about the house I live in now. Of course, we have memories here. My daughter was born here, but the ancestral home, which belonged to our great grandparents and parents and the memories, that is something which I will never get back. I will never be able to give it to my daughter. So it's a pain we share with the Jewish community and they are very close to my heart because they and I keep talking about the pain we feel. They feel the same pain. It's been such a long time since the Holocaust happened, but they still feel it as vividly as it was yesterday for them. So that's my piece. Thanks for sharing that. Okay, um, so if that's it, or anyone wants to say anything, if anyone wants to hear my poem, I can recite it quickly. Yeah, yeah, please do, please do. I think you have heard it, Subhazji. I would like to hear it again. Hi, hi. Okay, yes, yes, so this please. was right after, uh, right after the the abrogation of 370 uh not hopeful but like kind of kind of hopeful um so it's titled so it's it's uh, dated october 16 2019 and it's titled it's time for kashmir 30 years it's time for equality it's time for democracy it's time for kashmir these were my first lines the morning of August 5th. There was a sense of freedom and hope, a new energy almost. I'm getting a babysitter, my sister from India said. Mom, dad are moving back to Kashmir. I took a day off from work to process my overwhelming feelings. Yes, it had been 30 years. I still remember watching the snow fall from the window, sitting on my grandfather's lap deep in meditation, opening the back door of our six month old house for the fresh breeze and the smell of wet mud. Picnics in Hervan every Sunday, flying kites with my dad and sister in the blue skies, stealthily eating fresh snow off the sills of the large French windows. The same French windows of the house we refused to leave in January 1990, now was surrounded on an afternoon of February in the absence of my dad by many Muslim teenage boys with large sticks in their hands, banging loudly. Mom forced us into a corner squished together, I, my sister, and her. Standing still, terrorized, not breathing, not making a sound. It seemed like an eternity. I cannot forget those windows shudder. While I shut my eyes and I wish it would go away. We received life threats the same night. I find myself walking up the aisle now, popping my ears. I was on a plane with my family. Obviously, it was vacation time, I said to myself. Little did I know we were never to return home. Home. Crushed ice from the fridge was the new snow from the windowsill. Cockroaches, mice, and 10 by 10 square foot room with torn bed sheets was home now. Home was the unfounded fear and racing heart of walking by a green Jeep in a safe city away from terror, fearing it would explode and burn. Home was never speaking about the past. Past like it never existed. Home, however, was not pelting, what was not snow, snow, was not stone pelting at the first instance of a threat. It was love, respect, education, and strong values instilled at home. Home was not hatred for the Muslims, which would only be natural but lessons of equality, justice, democracy, and secularism was not a thought of picking up a gun and shooting at somebody. It was family, friends, community, service, and kindness. Home, above all, was patience. But today, it's their turn to be patient. For us, it's time for home. It's time for Kashmir. Very, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very nice. And uh, <laughs> and now, as a tear jerker, you know, we were talking about the wound, um, the, the, yeah, the wound that we have to carry with us, right, all the time. So this is uh, a book I wrote a couple of years ago, 
and uh, one of the poems there, and I there's a link to it in my latest Medium article, The Mind Sky. Uh, the title of the book is To Live One Must Die Every Day. It's really a book on, a poem on Kashmir. Okay, to live one must die every day and not even make a sound or sigh. Read the notes, run the errands, answer email and keep up with stories of the day, walk with a smile, an easy stride, make small talk, and before lights fade, say goodbye. And when you find a quiet corner and no one's watching, let the tears flow and softly cry. So the wound never goes, never heals. Yeah, I think you had emailed it to me at some point, you remember? Email, or I read it on on your Facebook at some point. It's beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. thanks. Thank you for sharing that. And uh, I have another poem, but it's about religion, but next time. <laughs> OK. Also hopeful. Um, <clears throat> that reminds me, my cousin sister actually wrote a poem book. I think one of the poems is on related to Kashmir, but I don't have it oh. with me right now. Next time, I'll get it with me. Yeah. Right. We Go ahead. No, no I just want to say, I'm saying. Mm -hmm. No, I just wanted to say, I mean, to Subhashji's poem, I think the first line, I think it's so intriguing, right? To, to live, one must die every day. And I read it somewhere. I think someone in some book had Sadhguru written it. Has, has written it. I don't and read Sadhguru. He has also repeated it on, yeah. I mean, I have read, I have listened to it uh, on Sadhguru. No, but what I was going to say is uh, I've read somewhere that the only, the only person who really died was Jesus because it's really difficult to die every day I mean to really overcome everything on a daily because we're just so ingrained in our um in our uh, personalities and in our uh you know memories memories it's I think the first line is just so beautiful but it's the most difficult to yes, really absolutely You're follow right. on a daily basis so that's very beautiful. Thank, thank yeah, you. Thank you. I really enjoyed. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but you can, you can uh, on my academia.edu, you'll find many books of my poetry that you can freely download. Just go to academia.edu uh, and on my page. Yeah. Awesome. In both Hindi and English. Sadly, not in Kashmiri. My Kashmiri is not that good. And the reason is I was such a shy kid that I was I didn't practice Kashmiri enough. Even though I was in Kashmir, I didn't practice my Kashmiri as well as I ought to have. It's OK. We have Vishalji's class now. Of course. You know, uh, you're suggesting that I should register for that. <laughs> I, yeah. wish, I wish I had the time. <laughs> no, I think you're fine. I think you understand it enough. Oh, yeah, perfectly. I understand Kashmiri perfectly. Pritika, you were saying? Oh, I was just going to say that I really enjoyed the poem as well. It's very heartfelt. And yours as well. Both, both the poems very heartfelt. Don't cry, okay. What do you do now? Okay. There is a uh, song by, I think his name is Hafiz Khan, Kashmiri guy. An amazing, beautiful, beautiful song. I was looking for it. I'll send the link to all of you. It's truly, truly beautiful. It's a 19th century Kashmiri ghazal. As soon as I find it, I'll send it uh, on the link. Perfect. Um, so yeah, uh, I think 7.30, if anyone has anything to share, otherwise it is going to be next week. And Avanti won't be joining next week because it is Aditya Raj's wedding and they're related. So um, we are, what, what I suggest we do is that we finish reading the book. And then whenever she joins, she joins, especially because she's going to join from India. And we'll have one session with her probably like after two weeks. So we, sh we should have finished by now. It's a very easy book to read. And now that Shruti has already read the last part, I think it's only... <laughs> only good that we get there as well otherwise there'll be spoilers and uh, and uh, 
I think I think it should be easy. Um, now, it is uh, going to be Feb, beginning of Feb, I think, Feb 2nd, that we'll finish that book, hopefully, and discuss it with Avanti. And after that, until 23rd, we have time uh, until we start reading uh, Identity's Last Secret with Makran Ji, who he, ha he has shared his book and the PDF. I, I shared it with you all, guys. So we we have two weeks there. So either we will do maybe a session of poems that you like, or some maybe we can write something together. I think that's something like a poem together or something together as like a session. I think that would be also something that should come out of this book club. Something should come out of us, I think. So we should probably do a group writing or individual writing and share it. Um, something like that is what I'm thinking. Okay. So practice your writing. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that's it. Thank you so much, everyone. And have a nice weekend. Okay. Have a great weekend. I think I have to. Okay, I have to take a picture. Wait, wait. Yeah, Thanks for yeah. reminding me that. Think, come on. I'm like, I always... Thank you. Now that now it's like a reminder for me. Whenever uh, Finn comes up, I don't the time. Okay. Finn is a Kashmiri hedgehog. Chal. I oh, one my my Kashmiri pan pan. Okay. Smile, everyone. There you go. Thank you, guys and girls. Thank you. And Thank you. Uh, see you next Take week. care. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. No. No. No.